Hanks playing Tom Hanks. And another movie featuring Tom Hanks. Part three. Third movie. He's still Tom Hanks in this bitch. Playing Tom Hanks. Let's get on with this bitch. What's going on, people? It's your boy, Bros Tax in this bitch. You already know. You already know. New subscribers, welcome. This shit gonna be broke down into three parts. Part one, I'ma talk a little bit about the movie. Part two, I'ma go balls deep. When I mean balls deep, I mean balls deep in this bitch. And I'm gonna give you the most comprehensive review on the 4K transfer that you'll see on YouTube, for real. Part three, I'ma give you my final thoughts. Thank you very much. Tom Hanks, amazing. That's all I got to say. I've reviewed many of his 4K movies as of late, from Sully, to Angels and Demons, Da Vinci Code, and one thing is for certain, throughout all his movies, Tom Hanks plays Tom Hanks. But he does it so well, he deserves the Oscar. Which means Tom Hanks is so amazing at being himself, he needs an award just for being alive in this bitch. Tom Hanks? Tom Hanks, if you need a guy for a movie, if you want to dibble dabble in some directing and you need a star, a brown star, who is cool at being himself and also has the talent that he could be himself in any movie, holla at your boy. Let's get into this. Tom Hanks once again reprises his role as Robert Langdon. It starts off, it's go, go, go from the get-go, okay? He wakes up in an Italian hospital with amnesia in this bitch. You know how you meet a girl at a club, you go to sleep with her, and then you wake up acting like you don't know her because you, you know you went to sleep with a 10, woke up with a 2. Your boy been there. That's pretty much it. But this is different. He waking up with amnesia. He didn't sleep with no one, but he just woke up in hospital. So it's a race against the clock. Once again, time is of the essence. They have to foil a deadly global plot in this bitch. Meanwhile, you got people trying to thwart what they're trying to do. They're trying to save the world in this bitch. Well, that's a little dramatic. They're not trying to save the world, but they've got people trying to stop them from doing what they're doing. One of which is Irfan Khan. Now, he Indian, I'm Indian. Well, he Pakistani, I'm Indian. There's a difference, but who gives a shit? We brown, he, I'm brown, he brown, God damn it. Whatever the case is, this actor is fantastic. I can't say enough good things about this actor. About this actor. He was in Spider-Man, he was in Life of Pi, and you know, I don't watch Bollywood movies, but I am familiar with Bollywood movies and certain actors and actresses. And I never heard of this dude before Life of Pi. And I'm watching him in these movies and I'm thinking to myself, why haven't I heard of you, brother? You fantastic in this bitch. Round of applause. Us Indians need to stick together. If, ladies, if you're asking if I'm Indian, I'm mixed race, I'm half Italian. That's just for you, baby. But seriously, the acting on here is top notch. I could say more. I mean. There is a lot going on in this movie. There is a hell of a lot. If I break down every little thing, I'll be here for an hour in this bitch. And I ain't got an hour in this bitch. But there is a lot going on. Tom Hanks, his character, is in a, is in a bit of trouble. I haven't read the book, but if the movie resembles the, the book pretty closely, then it's a page turner for sure. Because as soon as you watch it, you're watching the movie and you're thinking, hmm, where are they going with this? Then something happens, you're like, oh shit. Then you carry on watching it, and another thing happens, you're like, oh shit. They really have their backs against the wall in this bitch. It's a good movie. It's one of the, I think it's my favorite out of the trilogy so far. They've got special effects in there. It's not really, ha well, you'll know. When you watch the movie, you'll understand. But yes, it's a good one, people. I think it's, I liked Angels and Demons more than I liked Da Vinci Code. And I think I like this one a lot more than Angels and Demons. A little more, not a lot more, a little more. So do I recommend it? Yes, I recommend it. It's definitely worth watching. If you watch the first two, it's a no-brainer. You've got to watch it. It's a good movie. It's entertaining. Tom Hanks on his A-game, along with everyone else in the cast. Recommend it. Inferno. Shot in 3.4K and 6K. Visual effects rendered in 2K. Digital intermediate, 2K. Upscaled to 4K. Dolby Atmos Audio. So I've seen the 1080p Blu-ray of this and it was a beautiful, beautiful transfer. So here's a question. When you get Sony 
and Tom Hanks together and you put them on a 4K Blu-ray, you end up with results like Sully. How does this one measure up? Reference, quality, transfer. God damn, people. This transfer is beautiful. This transfer is the mutts nuts, the dog's bollocks, Supergirl's coochie. Do you know what I'm saying? It's all A1. Beautiful transfer. It's gonna be in my top five, yeah? Debatable whether it's better than, yeah, I gotta see all of them again. It's debatable whether it's, you know, is it number one? No, is it number two? No, but it is reference quality, people. Let's talk detail. You notice everything from the brickwork in the buildings to how old Tom Hanks getting. Tom Hanks getting old, let's keep it real. We love him. Tom Hanks love you, no homo. Things are so clear in this movie that you can see the imperfections on the set in this bitch. Do you know what I'm saying? Hair strand, you see hairs and nostrils and shit. God damn. From buildings to the pavement to Tom Hanks to just everything looks gorgeous. There is next to no noise on this bitch, which is even more of a plus. HDR is A1 in the fact that it makes everything look very natural, like you're actually there with them. There are some points where I was watching the movie thinking, oh shit, this feels like I can reach out and touch something. Do you know what I'm saying? It's a really good chance for you. It looks lifelike to the sense that you do feel like you're watching it through a window. It's, it's very clear, very natural looking, radiant where it needs to be. There's some special effects scene which are amplified because of the HDR, fire, what have you. This shit is bright as a mofo. No lie. This has got a nice three-dimensional image. A very nice three-dimensional image and also depth of field. You know, you can tell the distance between the characters and the background and the foreground. There's a scene which I don't really want to spoil, but there's, there's, there's something that happens very earlier on where you see something, right? There's something that happens at the very beginning of the movie, which probably on the trailer anyway, but like like a volcano in this bitch, do you know what I mean? And you see everything so clear, that shit looks just radiant and sizzly and detail and colors, just really, really nice people. No detail loss in the black levels are A1 as well. Black levels are great, guys. Black levels are fantastic. The detail is there, guys. I, I'm trying to think what I can fault this on. The CGI, Maybe the CGI takes a hit a little bit here and there, but I'm saying this and I remember saying to myself, okay, CGI-ish, okay, that looks a bit, you know what I mean? But I can't remember when I felt that way. I can't remember in what scene I felt that way. So it probably wasn't enough for me to, to ruin my experience. This is an A1 transfer. Very little, if not one pubic hair, wrong with this bitch. Brass tax, seal of approval. You have it. A1 transfer, can't say nothing else. The movie's not gonna like blow you away, but if you're a fan of the first two movies, you'll definitely love this one. It's a good movie. And certain scenes are really gonna take advantage of the 4K resolution and also the HDR. It's 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 a fantastic looking disc, people. You know, there's a box set coming out with all three, and you guys in the US already have the box set with all three right now. So pick up the box set if you don't have the first two. It's nice to have a little collection of those three movies because those are three really good movies. I remember Da Vinci Code Transfer was... <sighs> Was, was a bit shitty, and, um, and Angels and Demons was okay, but this one is fantastic. Tom Hanks and Tony can't go wrong on 4K. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But yeah, people, hit the like button if you like this. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate all the love and support. You guys know that. You guys take care, and uh, I'm gonna catch you soon. I don't know why I rub my hands every time I do this. It's a thing now. I don't know why.